This is a quick tutorial on how to create a custom Zap using Zapier so that you can automate some of your life. This is my first time, so I'm going to skim over this as I understand it. I was setting my first one up, actually my second, but this will be my first useful one. Second time I've tried to do this. Um, I think I understand it completely, so I haven't even finished the whole process. But um, in this case, I'm going to set up my Insightly account as a trigger app. And what I want to happen is when I have a new contact in Insightly, I want it to create a new subscriber and tag them in my ConvertKit account. So I chose my app, um, which is Insightly. I believe that um, I'm going to open another screen here. You may, there's a little setup before that actually. So I went into Zapier. App Explorer and I did um, I searched for something that would work and you know I put these two in here by searching for the apps and I got some things that they already had but none of them matched what I wanted so I decided I would make a zap <clears throat> I remember now what it uh, wanted me to do as I started this process it uh, want, basically wants to validate an account so it looks for what's called an API key and it walks you through the instructions of finding your API key. In my case I had to get an API key for my brand new Insightly account. It told me exactly where to go to find it. I just cut and pasted it in the appropriate field. So we're not seeing that step here. With ConvertKit I had already done the same because I tried something with I think ConvertKit and Gmail or something in the past just sort of trying to figure out how to use this uh, so anyway, it didn't have to do it there. So once I had that set up, it brought me to this screen, and it um, uh, I chose my trigger app, and actually I believe the order was, once I indicated that Insightly was my trigger app, it had me input the API key that I was just talking about, and then it wanted me to um, select an Insightly trigger, and I decided I, when I, a new contact was created in my Insightly account, that would be the trigger. So um, I just chose that radio button and clicked Continue which brought me to the next one. Um, if I had more than one Insightly account, I would have seen, um, you know, maybe Insightly account number two, number three, and so on. And here, let's see, uh, <laughs> this may have actually been the part at which I did the API. I'm not sure. I can't remember now, but it'll make sense to you. Just remember, you're going to be asked for an API key for your Insightly account uh, during the process. Um, I test. I just did a quick test button, and that was to make sure that it was talking to my account, that the API key was working, and everything. So, click the test button. Um, you can connect a new account, of course, if you want to, and then just continued. And um, yeah, my test was successful. Uh, in this case, I set up a new contact, so I wanted to see what that looked like. I used my wife Sammy as the test contact, so her info was here. And then there's a bunch of extraneous info that. I really don't care about, but um, may be a necessary part of the data capture for the zap that I'm creating. So then <clears throat> I wanted to uh, set up the next step. Um, so I um, looks like I had to choose an app here, which I chose ConvertKit. I have these are the apps that I've um, connected in the past. ConvertKit was already connected. So now I'm getting to the part where I, I stopped and uh, pressed record on this for this screen capture video. Um, I chose, I want to choose an action. In this case, I want to add a subscriber to a tag. If you're familiar with ConvertKit, you know what that means, but that's basically, I want to add a new subscriber and tag them. Uh, ConvertKit uses a slightly different language, but that's how I think about it. So I'm going to add a new subscriber and tag them. Um, and I'll save and continue. Choose account. That's my account right there. I know it is. I'll do the little test so you can kind of see what that looks like. Just tell me it was successful. So I'll save and continue. Set up a template. Okay, so here, I'm assuming it, yeah, knows all my tags. Uh, maybe I'll choose a morning tempo. Actually, the one I'm working with right now a lot is Unstarving Musician. So I'll click that guy right there. That's the tag I'm going to use. And then, hmm, what is this? The email address of the new subscriber. Giving Insightly a call. Hmm, it's interesting. Um, <clears throat> uh, this part is kind of throwing me a little bit, but I want.
wonder if it is just asking for one example. So um, this is the one contact I have set up so far. So let me see if I can find the email address. Hopefully I didn't miss it. So let's do this. Step one. And then I just want the first name. I know that's Sammy. Should be able to find that quickly. There she is. Because ConvertKit only wants email and first name. I'll continue. It's going to ask me to test. So here's my tag, here's my email, and there's the first name. That's pretty much what ConvertKit asks for. So I'll test. And it created the new subscriber. Um, let's see. Uh, yep, there's the info right there. So I know it works. Um, there's the first name. Created, created, creation date stamp active. Um, I don't see the tag here, but I guess it's just they're just showing me the subscriber info. Mm, yeah. And then that's it. Uh, I bet I can go into my ConvertKit account now and see that Sammy is actually added to. You know what? I think I have it open in another window here. Let's look at subscribers. And Spartacus says hello. Yeah, there she is. She just got create, created, and I'm going to see that she's tagged um, appropriately for I'm starting a musician. So it worked. Hope that was helpful. And uh, if you have questions or want to see something else, feel free to comment below. Thanks.